Donald Trump and First Lady Melania carrying out a more than century-old Easter tradition today. The U.S. president trading up some time on Twitter. This just a sample of what we've seen today for something a little more tippy-top. More on that in just a second. But it's all for the annual egg roll at a place called, well, maybe there really is no name for it. I want to thank the White House Historical Association and all of the people that work so hard with Melania, with everybody, to keep this incredible house or building or whatever you want to call it, because there really is no name for it. It is special. And we keep it in tip-top shape. We call it sometimes tippy-top shape. Some 30,000 guests turning out on the South Lawn for Easter-themed games with the first family. Someone else who could be visiting the White House soon? Vladimir Putin. The Kremlin saying today that Trump invited the Russian president to visit the White House during a call between the two leaders almost two weeks ago. That was the same call that saw Trump congratulate Putin on his re-election, despite reported urging from his aides not to. And it came before the U.S. expelled 60 Russian diplomats in response to the nerve agent attack on a former Russian spy in the U.K. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders confirmed later today that Trump and Putin had discussed a meeting, but the White House is just one possible venue. Back to the egg roll, where Trump was asked about an issue he's been tweeting about over the holiday weekend, DACA, which stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. A reporter asked today if so-called dreamers, the roughly 800,000 undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children, protected by DACA, if they should be worried about deportation. The Democrats have really let them down. They've really let them down. They had this great opportunity. The Democrats have really let them down. It's a shame. And now people are taking advantage of DACA, and that's a shame. Uh, it should have never happened. This a day after Trump declared he would not consider a deal to protect young immigrants and threatened to ditch NAFTA if Mexico doesn't do more to secure the border. The president also tweeting about caravans, referring to 1,500 or so people from Central America who are making their way through Mexico towards the U.S. seeking asylum, with organizers saying there's safety in numbers. Trump posting, these big flows of people are all trying to take advantage of DACA. They want in on the act. It's not exactly clear if Trump was referring to the caravan there, but what is clear is those people on the move wouldn't even be eligible for DACA. Among the requirements, you must have continuously resided in the U.S. since June 15, 2007.